you of getting to grips with an exam paper, just making yourself a little bit more confident, getting your brain thinking about what questions are coming up. So this is going into a bit more depth now about the first question you've got in your revision pack for the Easter for Unit 1, uh, GCSE, so currently in Year 10, or if you are retaking uh, this Unit 1. So it's very important to, to look at the case study material. Remember, you've got to use this case study as much as you can, almost doubling your marks in some cases. So we've got 19-year-old Joseph. He runs his own computer repair business. So we need to be in our answers talking about computer repairs. He needs £20,000 to start up his business. There's a nice figure that might be worth quoting. His dad, so family, friends, source of finance, prepared to lend, lend him £10,000. It does say lend. He is going to have to pay that back at some time. And is he going to get help from his dad about business advice and tips? Will his dad say, sorry, I need my money back now? So again, be thinking about the case study. Think about almost what questions could be coming up here. Now that's half the money he needs. And now he's got to go to the bank. Well, where else could he have gone to? Uh, were there friends he could have gone to? Could he have approached a, what's called a business angel, like on the Dragon's Den? Um, so think about other sources of finance, maybe his own savings, but he is 19 years old. Going to go to a bank, it does say half of what he needs. Um, Joseph's father says, give him this £10,000, half of what he needs, and tells him the bank will actually help new businesses. So it's not just the money he's going to get from the bank. He might be getting some advice from the bank as well. After all, the bank wants him to pay the money back, plus interest. And hopefully, this 19-year-old Joseph is going to become a millionaire of the future and a very good customer for the bank. So it says here the bank might offer him £10,000 he needs if he writes a business plan. So we've got to think, what is a business plan? Yeah, And why does the bank want this? So, you know, you, you might be tempted to, you know, to skip over this very quick and get into the questions. But the quality of your responses is going to be so much better if you do just spend a bit of time, you know, underlining these things, thinking it through before you actually get into the questions. You'll be able to do more concise, quicker responses that score you higher and get you towards the end of this exam paper at a faster rate. Right, so our first one, what is meant by a business plan? Now, it's not actually simply saying define a business plan, yeah? You're kind of thinking there about, well, a business plan, yeah, lays out what, what a business is hoping to do to achieve, will give information about how they're going to maybe produce it, who they're going to hire, what finances they're going to need to, to prove that they're going to bring in the money and going to be able to repay the bank one day and marketing as well, you know, marketing his computers. But we don't write too much. So just, you know, it outlines the, the proposal um, of the business um, and it's used to raise money from the bank. That's fine, you know, and you've used the evidence there. So very quick answer to that one. Explain two ways in which a bank can help a new business such as Joseph. So it's four marks. So we've got to be thinking, okay, one mark for one way and then one mark for some development, right? So explain two ways in which a bank can help new business such as Joseph. So one way we know is it can raise, provide him with money, and you might want to refer to the case study to develop that. Um, another way is in terms of maybe giving advice, and again, you could link that in, into the business plan that's mentioned. But it'd be nice to be something specific for Joe's business. So try to think about, okay, the business plan might mean they can give feedback on helping Joseph with something specific to the business. So without looking at the mark scheme, see if you can have a go at doing that now. Right, so we're on to question C. Um, now look at the marks there, that's a nine marker. So this is where the scaffold is going to kick in. You've seen with Miss Bragg's excellent um, nine mark tips that there are different ways you can go about this. Uh, if you're A star, it might be just getting more into depth, uh, more critical analysis. Um, a little bit unsure, you know, we just need a nice, secure, safe approach to this. So this is what we're going to do then. Um, would completing a business plan make sure that Joseph's business was successful? We need to make sure we refer to Joseph's business 
So, one of the things we can talk about then is what is we meaning by success? Is it, for him to be able to survive as a business, then um, what he might need to do is, is to look at using the business plan to get that money from the bank yeah, and use the data, right? Why would a business plan give the bank more confidence to lend to him? Explain that in full. However, what, what could be a problem with his business plan, uh, with his financial predictions, with his ideas behind marketing? Remember, this is a small business. Think about kind of in lessons how you've been advised about being effective in terms of marketing as a small business and not, not ratcheting up those costs up too high. Um, you might want to explain that in full, get into detail on that, yeah, really debate it very well. Or you might feel a bit safer approach might be to now pick up on, on, a, on a different reason, a different area for discussion. So it might be um, just for him, he can, he can work it out, he can think through, is it going to mean his business is more likely to be viable, to be a success, yeah? He, he can foresee problems that might happen with this. You know, again, explain it with the case study. You should be thinking about analysis, getting into depth, maybe use of business terms, so maybe the use of the word overdraft, um, thinking about um, financial support, uh, profit, uh, looking at how you, you will do that. Um, in terms of the, the viability of the plan, um, even if he's got a fantastic plan, maybe his business will not work out that well. Uh, think then about what could go wrong. And, and, and maybe he doesn't think that through in terms of contingency planning, what could come up that he might not have predicted. So you're maybe thinking what to do. You might want to put here then, you know, what are you going to do? You're going to put one bullet point for your planned nine mark response, which is just going to focus on the raising of the finance. Are we going to second bullet point here and, and think of the case for and against, you know, the, the use of um, the plan to, to make sure that his business does survive, that he does think it all through. To bring this to a conclusion, you need to offer some clear judgments, right? So you've got two billet points, which you must put a line through. You've explained either one thing in depth, case for and against, or maybe gone through two. So, you know, you're coming towards the end. And now you, you do need to think about this clear conclusion that you're, you are coming to a judgment. It means most probably not just simply repeating what you have just said, right? You most probably want to bring in something new here um, where you're going to say, right, I think overall business planning is what? A good idea? Yeah, it is, isn't it? So, but why is it going to be a good idea? You might need to just sort of back up your argument in terms of saying, I believe this is a good idea because of this reason, um, if because of another reason, because, you know, the Wizard of Oz, because, because, because. You might bring in something new, you know, you might sort of say, um, he's never done this before. He needs help. If it's not from a bank, then from someone else. Yeah, just really backing up your ideas and your recommend. I mean, remember, these are your recommendations. So if I was Joseph, I would recommend this, or he should consider this. He should consider a plan because of this reason. Okay, I hope we've nailed that enough in terms of the nine marks. Like I said, you don't need to be using all this extra space. You really want to be thinking about getting on to your next question. So having helped you through question one of your revision pack, have a go at it, uh, fill it in, uh, look at the mark scheme, and see from there uh, how you've got along, you know, what marks you can award yourself um, as, as to whether you feel like you've given that a really good response. Um, and good luck. Yep. So do try question two and question three. We want to see that in lessons when you come back. And uh, that's it.